Now let's look at different blade grinds and my blade groups that they are most suited to. I'm looking at six main, more important grinds that pretty much covers my six blade groups. Of course there are more grinds. So what we're going to look at is my six main grinds from standard bevel from the most durable to the most sharp. And a standard bevel, convex, a sabre grind, which is also a compound grind, a scandy grind, flat and hollow. And just in case you're wondering, a standard bevel is just a bevel on a thick blade. If you imagine a scandy grind starts closer, much closer, even more than halfway towards the um, cutting edge and just goes down to a very obtuse angle, shallow pyramid, then that is a very durable standard bevel and that could be a compound bevel. And here are my blade groups that they're most suited to. And you can see the standard bevel, very durable, like the parry blade, for example, is pretty much only my group one machete. The convex grind, durable again for group one machete, group two axe, most axe heads should be convex grinds anyway, and the group three main working knife. The sabre grind, compound bevel, which I think is more durable than a scandy grind. Anytime you put a secondary or a primary bevel or a micro bevel onto a blade, it's going to become more um, durable straight away because the angle at the end becomes more obtuse. The sabre grind is good for group three, main working knife, group four, smaller working knife, and the group five, camp knife. I've got group six there, the small folders, as a question mark. That doesn't have to be there. The only reason I've got that is because even this tiny one and a half inch folding knife is just a straight sabre compound bevel. And the answer for that might be simply it's easy to make in a factory. That's maybe why you get these sorts of um, sabre grinds nice and easy to make. The Scandi grind, which I think isn't so durable, um, but if I'm wrong, that's fine because I'm in a win-win situation. If Scandi grinds hold up to heavy work, then that's fine. But if they you know, turn um, doing heavy work, then don't complain to me because I gave that warning. And the Scandi grind is going to be good for... The, the Group 3 main working knife is a question mark again. It's more so for Group 4 smaller working knife, maybe your camp knives. And Here's a good example of the question mark of why this is such a grey area and there's no one answer is correct because even the examples I give you, my main working knife and this chopping tool, a Scandi grinds, it doesn't even fit my preferred grinds on blades, it doesn't fit my advice. So, and again, that seems to work well, but I do question, maybe better for a main working knife, but for the chopping tool, Scandi grind with quite a wide bevel, I question that durability for heavy chopping work. So, if it works, that's fine, but I just question that durability. So, there's a couple of examples of where it doesn't fit my own advice. And then flat grind, more sharper for your smaller knives, group five camp knives and group six um, folding knives. And the hollow grind, the sharpest, again for the smaller blades. And for the hollow grind, another example of where you know, the real life doesn't fit and examples don't fit my advice because my smaller working knife, which I've talked about in previous videos, a four and a quarter inch blade, that's actually a hollow grind. And I don't even like, I prefer a more durable grind on a knife that big. But I've had this for over 20 years, it does the job. Maybe you'd like a really sharp knife on a blade this size for those um, carving jobs and so forth. But I would like a more durable grind and that doesn't fit my own preferred advice. So there's a couple of good examples of where you can have knives. Again, different knives, different blades and grinds for different types of um, blades. There's no one right answer. And there's a couple of examples. And you'll see over here, I mentioned before in a previous video, that scale, the nice linear scale of blades, I call it the five opposites. The blades, the grinds should go from the more durable group one, which should be generally thicker, longer, heavier, to do heavier work and more durable edges, and perhaps less sharp, down to group six, which should be thinner, shorter, lighter, for lighter work, and more sharp edges, and perhaps less durable. So you can see those five opposites on both sides of this sliding scale, from group one to group six, you've got those five characteristics which should be opposites, and generally a scale up and down, but you can get variation. Like I said, 
different grinds can go with different groups and you might get variation in there. So what you need in the field is durability over even sharpness, especially for your bigger tools. I've spoken about that in the five important rules in a previous video. If you want your really sharp knives, you need to go for your smaller blades, your thinner, shorter, lighter blades, because that's all you need for the jobs where you need a really sharp knife, the smaller knives. You don't need those really big knives, and that's why I don't like knives that don't fit into um, this um, nice linear scale. For example, razor sharp machetes, which you can buy, you know, I believe in durability for those big tools and those big hunting knives and bowie knives with hollow grinds and razor sharp edges and so forth don't fit into this category. If you want really sharp knives, go for your smaller blades, but for the bigger tools especially, you want durability over even sharpness. And the last point that I want to make very quickly is about steel types. It's another big subject, controversial subject. There's many more steel types, but this is just a quick overview. There's two main steel types in my mind, stainless steels and carbon steels, high carbon steels. And stainless steel knives, which I actually prefer, um, better corrosion resistant, good for wet environments, especially salt environments. I'm here in Thailand. You may go camping, get dunked in a river. You don't have time to clean or look after your knife. Your knife's stuck in a sheet for a few days it's going to start to rust so stainless steel is good for that situations and it might be a bit harder to sharpen um, in the field your high carbon steel knives like these ones for example might be easier supposedly get sparks off a rock for emergency fire a bit easier to sharpen in the field although a scander grind is going to be hard to maintain on a rock in the field but the steel is easier to sharpen and but it will rust um, so you've got to look after it, keep it dry, keep it clean and oiled if preferable. So there's pros and cons for both stainless steels and high carbon steels. There's no one right answer again. So there's a quick look there. I hope that makes sense and we'll see you next time.